Okay, once your painting is dry, I will get them cut for you into one inch strips. And then I have prepared a loom for you. So you're gonna keep it folded. I've marked your cut lines. You're gonna cut from the fold on that line and stop at the pencil line I put at the top. So don't go past that pencil line, but go all the way up to it. This will prepare our loom so that we can do the paper weaving. And then what we're going to do is open that up carefully. We don't want to rip anything. Go ahead and press down that fold. Then you're going to start with one of your strips and you're going to go under this first cut piece over the second, under, over, under, over, and then stick it all the way up to the top, like so. Then we're gonna do the next one. The next one should be the opposite. So if I went under this first piece, you're gonna go over this first piece. So I'm gonna lift up the second one. So over, under, over, under, over, under. So the first two, they're opposite over unders. Let me straighten these up. So as you do that, you can start pushing them up closer to each other. And that way they'll hold a little tighter. So here's a close up view. I'm gonna do the next one. So this one was over. I need to go under on this next one. They're always opposite the previous strip. So under, over this one under this one, over this one, under this one, and then over at the end, and then push those up together. And it should start looking like a checkerboard if you're doing it correctly. Depending on how much space we have, the last one can be a little tight, but that's okay. It's supposed to be, but just be really careful. I'm just trying to get this through here, but you're gonna still do that same process of under, over. Okay, once all the pieces are in, we wanna make sure we're gonna straighten everything up. So the ones that we see on top, you wanna to have them go flush with the page. Okay, they need to be at least flush with the page. We, if they hang over, that's okay. But make sure those are all in place first and we're gonna kinda of glue everything in place as our last step. So I'm just lining these up and pulling them so that they're in the correct place. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it to the back and get a glue stick. And you are gonna lift up these little tabs and put a little bit of glue, whoops, put a little bit of glue there and push that down. Okay, I just have to fix that. So be very careful, put a little bit of glue, push and hold so that this will start holding that all in place and then we can always trim off the extra. So you wanna do both sides. I'm gonna do this side now, and then we're gonna also do the front. So glue, push and hold on all those end tabs, and then I'm gonna flip it to the front and do the same thing. So any of these hanging out, a little bit of glue underneath, push and hold. So I did forget to tell you that we do want to, on the back, put our name and room number um, so that we can Put those on the drying rack and I can hand them back to you. So like always, first name, last name, room number, grade level. And it shows up on the white paper the best. And then we're gonna put these on the drying rack to dry and I'll go over the next step next week.